Hey there fellow structural engineers welcome back to our channel today we have an exciting and important topic to discuss foundation design drawing checklist for open foundation we'll be going through the key points you need to keep in mind while checking a foundation drawing for any particular building or steel structure now as a structural engineer it's our responsibility to ensure the safety and stability of the structure we design and the foundation is where it all begins so let's dive right into the foundation drawing checklist now here I'm specifying few important key points and we will discuss this in detail further from the sample drawings I have collected few sample drawings to make you understand and how you can check your foundation drawing you can prepare this particular as a checklist while you check your foundation drawing so let's get started so here are the major key points that you need to keep in mind while checking your foundation drawing. Layout of open foundation, review of architectural integration, foundation column schedule. Also evaluate the construction practicality. That is also one of the most important points. So let's just understand each point in detail with the sample drawings so here I have considered one particular building where I have its architectural drawing and it's for the same building I have its foundation drawing right so let's get started now the first and most important point before starting to check this particular drawing is make sure before releasing foundation drawing column sizes are updated in the architectural drawing and it is okay as per the architectural requirement and this point you need to confirm with your architect right second grid lines to be matched with the updated architectural drawing after the final column sizing see at the initial stage architect will give you basic requirement of the column size but it's upon you that after analyzing your building you need to confirm the final sizes of the structure and and that needs to be updated in the architectural drawing right second point as I mentioned the grid lines the dimensions which are provided uh, to your grid to grid right let's say this a here we have different center lines right center line of wall and center line of column that's why we have two different grids B dash and B then C D so all these dimensions with your grid specification that needs to be matched with your architectural drawing right and that should be same in your foundation drawing so that is the first and most important point also special attention for layout of open foundation so first of all we will start with the north right so you need to check whether north direction is shown correctly as per architectural drawing or not now it might be a question to you that why this north is important now let me tell you for those who are beginners see north direction is crucial in architectural drawings and your foundation drawing as well because of the several reasons like orientation of the building right then wind patterns site planning and development okay few important aspects related to the architectural point and the structural point as well see knowing the north direction help architects and designers to determine the orientation of the building on site also it allows them to position the structure in a way that maximize the natural light minimizes the heat gain and takes the advantage of scenic views or prevailing winds right so these are few important points related to the architectural point but see in our foundation drawing it's important to locate our building with the correct orientation now let me just give you a highlight let's say if we have a particular layout let me just show you see here in this particular site setting layout we have so many different buildings with the different orientations so for your particular building it is important to know the orientation of that particular building with respect to the north right so if you have multiple buildings let's say this is 
a particular general layout for a factory area where we have so much different categories of building industrial shade warehouse pipe racks and etc so it's important for a particular building that how it is oriented with respect to the north direction right so that's the main important point over here so for such larger developments or urban planning projects the north direction is essential for positioning buildings and infrastructure elements in a coordinated manner it ensures that the layout of the site is efficient and coherent right so now you understand the that why the north is important right let's move on to the next point next point next point is your building coordinates now let me just show you over here for this particular building we have specified the coordinates of a particular column at the building corner you can observe we have specified two different coordinates that is for your north and east part similarly at the end of the building corner here also we have specified another coordinates so again the questions why we need to provide the coordinates so the important point that providing building coordinates in foundation drawing is essential for several reasons related to the construction process and the overall alignment of the building these coordinates helps to establish a reference system that allows builders and contractors to accurately position the foundation elements in relation to the site and building design right for example site planning and alignment so building coordinates provides basically a clear reference for the location and the orientation of the building on the construction site and by using this coordinates builders can accurately lay out the foundation positions and ensuring that the building aligns with the other site features property boundaries and access road right so as i give you the explanation regarding this particular overall plot plan let's say if you have a larger project where you have so many different categories of the building so to ensure the proper location of the building right it is necessary to provide the coordinate so that you can locate your building exactly let's say for a, such a huge project it's necessary that your building should fall at the correct location otherwise if it gets mismatch it will disturb the surrounding area as well which was planned according to the survey and the architectural planning so that is one of the most important point you need to cross verify your coordinates related to your building here i am showing you this particular reference for your part you can observe for this particular building we have provided two different coordinates at for your reference i have provided two different coordinates one over here and one at the other corner of the building right somewhere here see next point fixed face line so again you might have a question why fixed face line so let me just give you an example over here for this particular building let's say this one is a long lab but lab building and if you observe here the columns are placed inside of the building right and wall is flushed outside right and building see it is mentioned over here this as a fixed face right and columns are placed over here so this particular line that you are observing where you can observe the columns are at the same position right so according to this the construction should take place now let's understand why we need fixed face now if you observe for this particular building this one is the different building right and here you can observe the fixed face is placed outside of the column boundary right this is the inner face and this one is the outer face where all the columns are placed according to this particular face right so now let's understand what is fixed face now see in the architectural drawings a fixed face refers to a specific surface or side of a building element that is designated to remain in a fixed position as 
in our case this column positions are fixed or locked or its orientation relative to the rest of the structure now it is used to communicate critical information to the builders and contractors during the construction so here I, we have highlighted this as a fixed face right and if I show you the another drawing where you can observe the columns are placed inside and the walls are flushed outside over here so for this particular building the segment is fixed something like this to maintain the elevation part so the concept of fixed faces is particularly important in architectural detailing where it is essential to define how certain elements interact with each other and with the overall building design. By specifying the fixed faces in the drawings, architects can ensure that the elements are correctly positioned, aligned and installed according to the intended design. So here to match the elevation preference, we have fixed face something like this. Right? So by showing the fixed faces in the architectural drawings the construction team can accurately interpret the design intent reducing the risk of errors and ensuring that the final building matches the original vision of the architect so that is the most important point so basically those who are beginners for them i am defining these terms in detail so currently we have started with the north importance of north then we have understand the importance of coordinates then here we have understand the importance of fixed face as well now let's move on to the next point next point as i told you you need to cross verify all the grids with the dimensions mark over here as you can observe the center to center grid dimension should match with your architectural drawing as well in order to execute the same on site right you can observe over here so you need to check these dimensions one by one right later on I'll provide you one check print how I am checking this right so you can utilize a marker and later on we will understand the check print fundamental as well right so you need to check all the dimension that should match with your architectural drawing also the additional grids for the columns other than shown in the architect now if you have installed extra columns let's say over here now see in some cases uh, there might be a large span and you required few columns that needs to be provided then additionally columns you need to identify and incorporate in your structural drawing as well let's say for this particular area if you observe right we have this three portions and if you observe over here we have placed additional columns for the supports over here right so the grid lines you need to specify that's what I'm saying grid lines or let's say additional grids for the columns other than shown in the architectural drawing so if you have the structural requirement for the columns you can add them and provide them with the grid lines and notations right next important point whether outer to outer dimension of the building is given or not as per architectural drawing so the overall dimension of the total building see out to out it is marked over here 41760 that is your out to out and that needs to be matched with your architectural drawing 41760 out to out right so these are the key points you need to check next point reference drawing number now see for this particular drawing we have so many different categories of drawing right starting from the foundation let's say excavation drawing or the general layout all these you need to specify it over here in terms of reference right so you need also need to check whether the reference drawing number is specified over here or not so here you can observe uh, the ground floor and first floor plans are provided for the rough reference as well as the column section details are also provided with the drawing number so you can check out something like this so this import that is this one is the also important point the reference drawing list whether it is provided or not then general notes of foundation whether they are provided correctly or not right so general notes used to specify over here you can see few general notes over here which specifies the grade of the concrete and uh, the grade of steel then clear cover and the lap length details SBC considered and the units all these important notes 
whether they are provided correctly or not that you need to check then next important point key plan so you also need to check out whether the key plan is provided or not now let me just show you one sample for that particular as well so let me show you that particular as well whether the key plan is provided or not you can observe for the overall side area they have specified and located the building over here in your key plan right this one is the overall site area and here they have provided in the key plan for that particular building so it will give you a general idea that in the whole plot plan where your building is located let me just show you the another one if we have for this particular building if you observe this is the site layout and here it is highlighted with a key plan next important point legends and abbreviations so you also need to check whether they are provided correctly or not so if I check over here see all the legends and abbreviations are provided over here with detail you need to check if you you don't miss any particular one right next one whether the pedestal column marking and the foundation markings are given correctly or not so you need to cross check your sizes with the given input that as an engineer you have provided to a draftman and you need to verify the sizes with the given number let's say the footing f1 f2 f3 f5 which has the different sizes and the column c1 c2 c3 c4 which has different column sizes right so you need to cross check and identify all those things also you need to check the column orientation as well that is the most important point you can't miss the column orientation your column orientation should be as per your design and detailing right now if we have the adjacent building nearby and if its foundations are there you need to cross verify or validate whether they are provided with the correct segment or not now let me just show you a sample if I have any see for this particular building we have already uh, existing foundations over here which are marked with the gray line right so you need to cross validate all those things these are the existing foundations and here we are issuing a new layout right for this particular adjoining building so I hope this particular information will help you out now we have few more important points that we will discuss in the next session right so by keeping these key points in mind while checking foundation drawings we can ensure that our buildings and steel structures stay stand strong and safe right we will discuss few more important points in the next session remember don't just learn software learn concepts thank you